Hey, Aaron Oberholzer here for the C3i Wedge. Uh, we're talking about how you guys can get better with the C3i Wedge and with your short game uh, all together. Um, right now, I want to talk to you guys about the standard default kind of chip shot, something that you can go to that uh, is reliable, is basic, and that really is hard to mess up, quite honestly, and something that you can use everywhere around the green except maybe the bunkers. So everywhere around the green, you can use this kind of method, all right? This is a method that when you watch the guys on tour, it's a method that Jason Day subscribes to. Oh, by the way, he's one of the best pitchers on the planet. Jordan Spieth, uh, Steve Stricker, Zach Johnson. Those are pretty much the best pitchers of the ball on the planet right now, those four guys. So, uh, and Zach and Steve have been that way for the better part of 10 years. So basically what the concept is and what, what they do so well they don't use a lot of wrists. They don't use a lot of wrists. They use a very generic rocking motion and take the wrists out of it. Let me show you. Literally like this, hardly any wrist movement, a brushing of the grass and making sure that that club face doesn't release over 45 degrees at the finish, okay? It's a very simple shot. All you're gonna do is take your normal grip, get your stance. I'd say get your stance um, slightly open, narrower, such as this, okay? Slightly open, narrower, shoulders, hips, everything square to the target line that you wanna hit it on, square to your club face line, and then rock the shoulders. Brush the top of the grass. You can see that there's just a little bit of a weight shift in my feet. There is footwork involved, and there is kind of a little bit of a lower body action. Something that a lot of people don't, that a lot of people don't recognize with chipping is that there is actually a little bit of lower body involved, okay? Let's show the chip. I'll show the motion right now down the line. You guys can watch it. I'm going to hardly break my wrists at all. Very simple. Okay, and with that, you can move the ball position around and play around with it. That ball position was a little bit up in my stance. The ball went higher. I'm also on a little bit of an upslope. This ball position is going to be a little bit lower, or, or a little, excuse me, a little bit further back. So it's going to drop the ball flight. But again, standard pitch shot. So there's a lot of different permutations you can have with this, meaning. You can, have, you can hit a high shot with it by just moving the ball up. You can hit a low shot with it by moving the ball back. So all you have to do is basically control your ball position to control your flight and your trajectory. You don't have to do anything else. If you want to hit it a running shot, you put it further back. You want to hit a softer shot, you put it further up. But the, the, the secret is to brush the top of the grass and to stay shallow through the ball, making sure that you don't break your wrists because what happens, what happens when you guys break your wrists a lot is that you're going to come into the ball a different way every time. But if you can maintain some sort of consistency through the ball, and what I mean by consistency is consistency of strike and consistency with how you present the club. So let's say you're breaking your wrist. Well, one time you might release early, present the club this way, the ball is going to go higher, it's going to go shorter. The next time you might present the club and you'll hang on to it, and you'll lead, with the, you'll lead with the handle a lot, and it'll come out hot and low, and, it goes, and it, it's going to go further, okay? Well, with this, you don't have to worry about not, I guess you don't have to worry about the inconsistency of the strike, the inconsistency of what could possibly happen um, with using your wrists and a different release point every time. This is going to put, put the club in this, right back in the same spot just about every time if you just let it fall. Very light grip pressure. I'm not doing anything different other than just rocking the hands, holding the finish. And those were all a little bit further up in my stance, ball goes higher. A little bit further back in my stance, ball goes lower. It's a really simple way to pitch the ball, and it's something that you can use all the way from your 8-iron all the way down to your lob wedge or your C3i uh, lob wedge that is gonna help you get the ball more consistently on the greens and more consistently with, I should say, with your distance control and your trajectory control. 
Give that a shot at home. Learn to pitch like Jordan Spieth. Learn to pitch the way Jason Day and those guys do and Steve Stricker and Zach Johnson, stiff-wristed, and meaning don't break the wrist. I don't mean be locked up, and I don't mean death grip the club, but just don't use a lot of wrist, and you will become a much better chipper, I promise.